Alright guys, not sure the quality of this camera, it's an older digital camera that I just picked up, it has an empty SD card on it so I can actually put some footage on it, but I'm in the process of, <coughs> excuse me, trying to take off the uh, front, I guess is that, they call them eyelets or something, I don't know, I'm trying to take off the bolt that goes in the front leaf spring. And it is locked. Probably can't see it. I'm trying to get the best light I can, but it is locked on the spacer that is in between that's inside the bushing. So what I need to do is take a get a sawzall gun in between here and cut that bolt. And then again go over here and inside there cut this bolt so that the so that the front will drop out and the reason I'm doing that is I need to take this for one I need to take this whole rear end out and clean it up take that uh, I guess to take the head out of that 9 inch and have it inspected make sure everything's good in it after sitting for a while and then I need to take this piece out so that I can uh, weld on the other side of it when I weld my subframe connector in. You see I'm going underneath the bottom of the car. But uh, that's where we're at. And I'm trying to make a video that I can piece together and do some video editing. Make one long video of the process. Here's my fender fender wheel. I kind of wire brush it. It's kind of nasty. You can see where somebody somebody put a patch there somehow. But it's not too well. Up in the very top of it, yeah, there's some pinholes there to wire wire wheel eight out. And there's a piece right piece of rot right there. Sure, I'm getting discouraged about all this rust in this thing. All right, guys. After about 20 minutes of banging pretty good and cutting and using a, an impact, here's a bolt that I had to cut off. And you can see that it's still stuck in there. It's locked in with that spacer. And here's, you can see why I'm wanting to take this stuff off. And I'm really debating on getting a new set of springs because I think these are standard height springs. I want to lower it anyway. But, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I need a new set of springs. Probably 250 bucks. But, i got to clean that out. Uh, figure out a way to move my jack stand. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know. My rear end's still sitting in here. The leaf spring is off of it, so... I don't know where I'm going to put my jack stand, but... It is in the way. I need to be... I need to be right here with the, uh... Subframe connector, so... Yeah, I don't know. Gotta move it backwards. Maybe I can just sit it. Maybe I can sit it right here. I don't know. Feel like I'm in a pickle. Jack holding the rear end up because this side has no support. So I need my jack to jack it up to move my jack stand. So, I don't know. But you see what I did. You can see I took that out. And next, I put in, I put a, put a primer on the top part of this because I don't know how hard it's going to be to paint it. But So right where my jack stand is sitting, sitting underneath it here, it sits right there. So, I don't know what this hole is for. This is your, this is your leaf spring, your eye, eye bolt. So 
So that's why I had to take it out. So the inside where the eye bolt goes is going to be flushed up there. Okay, I have it fitted in place. Like I said before, these things are sold as a bolt-in product. And I would tend to say that they're probably easier to do if they're bolt-in. It's been a pain to ask it to fit. But it fits pretty decent. This is the only place where it hits is right there. There's always a gap under it. The only place I see it hit is right there. And then it, the touch is pretty good here. There's a gap here that I'll probably try to have in here. That probably try to bridge the weld, but we'll see. Again, I don't know what this hole is for. But it looks pretty decent in there. Well, I'm going to set this back. Once I get the welder set up, I'll try to uh, I'll try to record just some video, so some welding video.
smoking. Ugh. Ugh. Losing my gas. guys I got it all welded in it definitely is not going anywhere it's not the best welds I've ever done that's for sure but I know the next on the other side I know that I clean it off a little better but I mean some of it's pretty gobby it's stuck pretty well though but it's on there it looks really good. I think it's a big, big benefit for the car. That well, the little gobby had to bridge that one. I wanted to get into here, but wait a minute, get into here, but I, I couldn't, couldn't get in there without the welder touching and arcing somewhere else. Probably dark over there, but. It's in there. You see me earlier messing with this hose. Some somehow the the line blew out of there. I stopped the water and I heard heard some hissing going on. And that's where I look over to see the hose dangling there like a a snake with its head chopped off. I've been doing a little bit of work. See the interior is all ripped out. I had to put a Patch panel over there. It was rotted through. But uh, so you can still see I'm tackling too many projects at one time. Got the wiring going on. Got the seam sealing and the uh, painting of the floor going on. Subframe connector going in. Rear leaf spring, rear, rear end removal going in going on and I still haven't gotten those uh, those hats that Rich from Mustang Connection 1 gave me but I got one thing done I got one one subframe connector put in oh yeah I got my finally got my brake lines they are a I don't know what they came from I don't I, but the uh, banjo bolt right here that is a 7 16 so I needed to find a brake line with a 7 16 in I got the box laying here somewhere here we go pile of junk yeah here we go banjo bolt goes through here I had to get one with a 7 16 hole in it I believe these are 15 inches and I'm going to mount it right there just like that some people mount them out here or mount it like this but I think I'm going to mount mine right there made a little plate see this little plate right here made that little plate what I plan to do is you can buy those things but I figure why buy them when I had the sheet metal I can make one but it goes up in here and bolts in there with the uh, master cylinder. But what it is, you mount your proportioning valve on the bottom of it instead of over here somewhere where you can't see it, where you can see it. You mount it on the bottom, and one hose comes out, and they're real clean, real clean setup. Hose comes out, and then a hose goes down to your brake lines. But uh, real clean setup. I like it. It's been a couple weeks since I made a video. I don't remember what was on there last. I don't know if my steering shaft was in there or not, but it's in there. Sure is a mess. Definite mess. You see, it got it up in the air pretty well. I remember saying something to uh, Gary at Turbo Cobra about welding underneath his car, I believe it was him, with short sleeves, and I told him he was crazy. But, uh, 
I did it today. I didn't have any issues. So, I take back what I said before. It's kind of idiotic to do that, but I guess not. Anyhow, um, stay tuned as uh, I try to get some more work done. And um, I'm going to try to blend all these videos together somehow and put them up on YouTube today. So, take care.